Today we're getting into the latest Tesla news, including huge Model Y discounts, the latest ludicrous Model 3 leaks, FSD free trials, and more, so let's get into it. First up today, Tesla's dream of a fully self-driving vehicle fleet is getting closer and closer to reality all the time. While the software is certainly impressive in a lot of ways, it still has a lot of room for improvement that has left sales of FSD a bit sluggish. However, Tesla has just released the latest version of the software that promises a lot of huge improvements that they think will win over a lot of new customers. In order to show it to them, however, Tesla is doing something a bit unprecedented. They are giving every Tesla in the US free access to FSD for an entire month. In the past, it's usually some sort of trial when you use someone's referral link upon buying a Tesla, but here they're giving it to people who have owned these cars for a long time. Now, many customers already know this since they've received it, but others haven't heard of this or still are waiting to receive it. For instance, I've yet to receive the FSD beta trial or FSD supervised trial on my new Model 3. Tesla has just officially started rolling out access to version 12 of their full self-driving software that Elon has promised is quote, mind-blowing. He has said this before, but clearly Tesla thinks that this latest update is a pretty huge improvement over its predecessor and could be a breakthrough for the software. The full self-driving package currently costs $12,000 or is also available for $199 a month as a subscription. That's a really steep price and a lot of customers didn't think the software was far enough along to justify it. With this new update, however, Tesla clearly seems to think that once customers get the chance to try it out, they could see a big sales boost. If you live in the US, then you should have already received or should be receiving your free trial of FSD via an over-the-air software update. However, while tons of customers will be getting access to FSD version 12 for free, some older customers who actually paid for the software may have to wait a little longer. Customers who own older versions of the Model S and X are finding themselves unable to install the new update, and it's unclear when they may receive it. Naturally, a lot of those customers are upset since they paid for this so long ago, so Tesla's Rohan Patel responded on X. Some older Model S and X vehicles, around 3% of FSD eligible vehicles, are equipped with a different hardware that Tesla is working to validate before launching. He says, quote, we have a rigorous safety validation cycle for every software update, and we are working as hard as possible to ship the latest builds to all customers. We don't want to give false precision on timing until the validation can be completed, but we want you to know we are focused on trying to solve this. Hopefully they are able to quickly bring those cars up to speed so that they can enjoy the latest version of the software, especially since many of them are some of the earliest adopters of FSD that really funded the beginning of this program to get us to where we are today. Last year, Elon Musk said that Tesla would offer an extended free trial of FSD once the software became, quote, super smooth. The time has finally come for them to deliver that promise, so this will be a great test for millions to see how smooth this new version really is. We're also seeing Tesla officially change the name of this from FSD Beta to Full Self-Driving Supervised. In addition to the free trial, Tesla has also instructed employees that they must give all customers a demo of FSD before they can pick up their newly delivered cars, even if this process slows down deliveries. Tesla must have high hopes that the latest version is impressive enough that it will drive FSD sales in a major way. Only time will tell how successful these promotions are and whether this update will be the major threshold that turns FSD from an expensive novelty into a must-have part of the driving experience. I've been using the latest versions of FSD on my Model Y over the past couple weeks and overall it does prove extremely impressive. Still though, there are those times where you need to take over or it takes something extremely slow or annoys drivers around you with indecision. In my opinion, until it's truly perfect or on the level to where you can confidently tell customers that they should never need to take over, it's still another beta of FSD, as exciting as it is. With that said, for people who have been adamantly watching every version of this, this does seem to be a very big step forward and it's definitely exciting to see. Next up today, while Tesla did a sales tactic to raise prices of the Model Y come April, we are seeing them still full of inventory and offering a number of incentives to drive sales. All the news about Tesla after Q4 was that BYD overtook them in global sales, meaning Tesla was the second largest EV manufacturer in the world. This is largely aided by BYD's more affordable models. But after Tesla released their Q1 numbers, they overtook BYD once again. Tesla's delivery numbers disappointed many, but we still saw them overtake BYD for the quarter, potentially showing that slowdowns here aren't necessarily specific to Tesla. Still, it seems that for the Model Y in particular, Tesla has a lot of cars to sell. There may be many factors at play, but current Model Y pricing is down quite a bit. It's currently pretty easy to get a very affordable Model Y in the US, especially if you are further able to add the tax credit. That car fully qualifies if you're available, but inventory discounts are extremely high right now as well. 
On Tesla's website, they very much push customers to shop available instead of custom order on Model Y. And we can see some pretty steep discounts right now. In my area, I mainly see Model Ys going for about $4,000 off, but long range models have discounts of about $5,000. Some of these are demo vehicles, while others are brand new. I also see similar discounts for performance Model Ys, making the performance Model Y $48,140. Considering inflation in recent years, this is pretty impressive, considering Tesla originally said this car would cost $60,000. In other areas as well, some Model Ys have discounts as much as $7,200 in order to drive inventory sales. Here's one detailed by Electrek for $7,520 off prior to any tax credits. That means that if you qualify, you could get this Model Y for $31,970 prior to fees and tax. That's an absolute steal for this car and a really great buying opportunity. It's very interesting to see this because a big part of Tesla's tactic to finish out Q1 was that the Model Y would increase in price $1,000 come April 1st. But they don't even want you to get to the custom order page where you can see that $1,000 price increase. Instead, they are driving most customers to buy an inventory where discounts are available for up to $7,520 off prior to tax credits. Reportedly, they have added over 46,000 vehicles to their global inventory, so it's clear that they have some cars to sell. That's in the US, but over in Australia, the Model Y also just saw a massive price cut. These following numbers will be in Australian dollars, but still represent huge cuts. The Model Y price has been cut up to $8,500 in Australia, making its base price $63,900. The base model was cut by $1,500, long range was cut by $5,500, and performance was cut by $8,500. On top of these price cuts, Australia is beginning to receive the updated Model Y from China. This brings a couple changes like the updated black wheels, quicker acceleration, longer range, and a slightly updated interior trim with an LED light bar. It is also getting Tesla's new colors, Stealth Gray and Ultra Red, along with Quicksilver, which was originally announced in Berlin. Over in China as well, Tesla's market share for 2023 dropped from 10.5% to 6.7%. As such, we're now seeing a new limited time 0% interest loan program for buying a Tesla there. It applies to both the Model 3 and Y, but does require a decent down payment. With that said, interest rates in certain markets have been a big factor affecting EV sales and sales of Teslas, so this could surely drive a lot of sales for Tesla's vehicles. A large part of Tesla's recent growth has come from their Chinese factory and the Chinese market, so it is an important piece. Their success and competition there also trickles down to other markets. In fact, I'd even argue that the new Model 3 only was introduced as a result of the need to compete in China. Then they brought that car to the US about six months later. As is always the case, there are likely a number of factors here, but one that I think Tesla may not repeat is the fact that the Model Y feels a bit outdated now. With the release of the new Model 3, it brings a ton of new features and noticeable improvements. Some customers may prefer its new exterior design, the rear screen, the stockless steering wheel, and other things, but the Model 3 improves things where it counts most. The Model 3's cabin is far quieter than before, the build quality is better, and the ride quality is massively improved. These things are all extremely noticeable when driving this car, and we know it's only a matter of time before these upgrades come to the Model Y. These upgrades are more than simply cool changes. They truly improve the experience driving these cars, so I wonder how many customers are simply waiting it out. Yes, Tesla's offering discounts, but if I'm planning to spend a lot on a car that I want to keep for many years, and a massive upgrade is around the corner, I may just wait. In the future, I think Tesla will try to upgrade their cars simultaneously to avoid this, which is referred to as the Osborne effect. Either way, Model Y production continues as is, so we could see more discounts and incentives coming throughout the next few months. I'm very curious to see what happens there. Regarding BYD, it wouldn't be a shock at all to see a back and forth between BYD topping Tesla and Tesla topping BYD in the coming quarters, but once Tesla introduces their next generation EV, that's when things could change entirely. BYD is overtaking Tesla because they have truly affordable EVs for sale, competing with the Model 3 and Y. Hopefully within the next couple years, Tesla will also have that affordable EV to sell. Real quick, if you're into general future tech, AI, and more, I have a new podcast called All Future with videos going up throughout the week that I'm doing with my friends Matt and Andrew. It's a lot of fun, we just hit 2,000 subscribers, and you can check it out linked in the description below. Next up today, the latest for Tesla's next car, the Ludicrous Model 3. At this point, we've seen tons of leaks, and it's clear that any minute now, the embargo will drop for those invited to Tesla's not-so-secret event to launch the reviews of this car. Likely, we'll see it go up for sale at that time, and this is what Tesla did originally with the Model 3 relaunch in China last year. 
In any case, many photos leaked from that event and show us most of the details of this car. The updated front bumper is really clear in this photo of the new Model 3 Ludacris in stealth gray. Here's another angle of that same car, and this really emphasizes that splitter on the front. Here's another angle of that front bumper, and then the same angle here in red really shows off how similar this is to the Tesla Roadster. At first glance, it almost looks like this is a Roadster, and that's likely very intentional on Tesla's part. Here's that ultra red from behind, and here we can see them together. I really like the front bumper look on this Model 3, and it's really cool to see this coming from Tesla themselves instead of a third party. This will really do a good job distinguishing this trim from the rear wheel drive and long range Model 3 trims with the bumper, but also the wheels. These close-ups on the wheels show a big departure from previous Model 3 wheels, and for the first time we have a confirmation for tire sizes. 235, 35, 20 up front, and 275, 30, 20 in rear. There are a lot of great leaked photos from this event, so Tesla clearly didn't try all that hard to keep this a total secret. But I love the look from this particular angle. Around back, of course, is that ludicrous badge, and I'm very curious as to why these have Texas plates instead of California, like we've been seeing. A bunch of covered up Teslas were spotted in Tesla's outbound lot in Texas near the Cybertruck, so I have a suspicion that they may introduce the Ludacris Model 3 out of Giga Texas. This could be a big ask at this point, but we saw other Model 3s coming out of there last week, so they definitely could surprise us here. Inside, we finally have a full photo of the upgraded front seats. These are in black and very distinctly have the Ludacris badge integrated within them. This seat also doesn't have any wrinkles that I can see, which was something people noticed in prototypes. This photo of a red one also shows off those ludicrous seats in white. Also inside, we got the most detailed photos we've seen of the carbon fiber accent. It's a small change, but is noticeable. Most are expecting this car to be revealed any day now, but some rumors say it's on track for a May release. That could definitely mean that orders open soon, and then they ship this car within a month, but we'll have to see. Rumors have said this car will have a 0 to 16 2.9 seconds over the previous Model 3's 3.1 seconds. However, people have also said it's way faster than the previous version of this car. I think we may see something even more than 2.9 seconds. After all, the ludicrous Model S was able to do it in 2.5 seconds. To live up to that name, we could see the Model 3 deliver this. If they do, it could make this car particularly popular and then it should qualify for a full tax credit. What do you think of the new Model 3 Ludacris though? Is it enough of a change to make it exciting for you? Leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts. Next up today, we've been hearing for a while now about Tesla's ongoing negotiations around the world to determine the location of their next factory. India, Thailand, and Italy are some of the leading candidates for this impending growth, with another factory currently on hold in Mexico. Over in Italy, a report has come out suggesting that Tesla may be gearing up to produce some brand new vehicles out of a potential factory there. A new report from the Italian media has stated that the country is in deep negotiations with Tesla for a factory that would produce, quote, electric trucks and or vans. We're not entirely sure what they're referring to here, and it opens up a lot of interesting questions about what Tesla may be planning to produce in the future. As for trucks, Tesla currently makes two vehicles that fit that description, the Cybertruck and their Semi-Truck. Elon Musk recently said Tesla may eventually produce their semi out of Giga Berlin, and as it stands right now, it doesn't seem like the Cybertruck is ever going to come to Europe. If we take this report at face value, then this would imply that Tesla could be in the middle of designing two all-new vehicles. These hypothetical products could include a new fleet of smaller electric delivery vehicles, like what we've seen Rivian produce for Amazon. Rumors have also been around for a while that Tesla is working on a van-like vehicle for the Boring Company, but there aren't any firm details there. All of these negotiations are currently happening behind closed doors, so we can't really know for certain whether these rumors are accurate. While some politicians involved claim that the negotiations are far along, we can't really know for sure until Tesla makes a public announcement on the topic. For now, we should take any rumors like this with a big pinch of salt, but still, it's exciting to imagine what kinds of new products they may be working on behind the scenes, even if they only come to other countries. We'll keep an eye on the ongoing factory negotiations as they develop, and we await word on where Tesla's growth will take them in the future. Last up today, some updates from other automakers. Another legacy automaker is gearing up to make a big entry into the electric pickup truck market. A Toyota executive from Thailand has announced recently that the company will be launching an all-electric Hilux truck by the end of 2025. 
The Hilux is one of the best selling pickup trucks in the world, so launching a fully electrified version makes a lot of sense. Despite their early lead into car battery technology with the Prius, Toyota has been very sluggish in getting fully electric vehicles to market. Before finally announcing this electric Hilux, they had previously shown off a hybrid version and even a hydrogen powered version. Toyota showed off an electric Hilux prototype back in 2023, but it hadn't seemed like much of a priority for the company so far. Meanwhile, rival company Isuzu has announced an electric version of their D-Max trucks that will eventually be produced out of Thailand. Toyota has been one of the best selling car brands globally for a while now, and they're finally seeing that in order to stay relevant, they have to start selling competitive EVs. The electric pickup market has been expanding greatly in the last few years, and hopefully Toyota can bring a great new product to that segment. We'll see which countries this Hilux does end up coming to. Over at Chevy, they are offering certain Bolt EV owners up to $3,000 to buy the new electric Equinox. This loyalty program offers you a $3,000 discount if you lease or finance through GM Finance. If you don't finance, it's a $2,500 discount. Overall, this isn't the biggest deal in the world, especially since they want you to sign up for a new loan in particular, but it's an interesting way to get loyal Bolt owners to upgrade to their newest, more affordable EV. That's all the latest Tesla news for today, so in the meantime, if you want to see the latest tips and tricks for your Tesla, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.